Welcome to Life Symphony with Olufumi. Yeah, that's me. That's me. You welcome back to my channel. It's so good to be with you today. How how have you been? You know, a lot has been happening in the world. I mean, 2020. Too many people could not wait for 2020 to be over, and now we're in 2021. And you know, um, you know, of course, for some people, hope is gradually coming back. You know, and. Um, Things are beginning to look up at this for some. I just wanted to drop a word with you today. You see, um, there's a lot going on. There really is a lot going on. The media, I mean, you go online, it's one thing or the other, or the other, and you begin to wonder, can we just get a break? Well, I want to bring it home to you, right? You see, as much as there are circumstances, there are different things happen in the world today, at least there is one thing to a large extent that you do have control over which is your life. You see, um, it's so easy to become fearful. It's so easy to start worrying about, I mean, what's happening, what's gonna happen, what's the future, or maybe even already the circumstances around you have already begun to affect you, right? But you see, this is a time more than ever before where you must take charge of your life, take full control of your life. Um, sometimes I listen to some people and they would say, I don't know why this is happening to me. I don't know um, all of this. You know, they share their challenges and all that. Of course, we have to listen and help as much as we can. But it gets to a point in your life where you must take responsibility for your life. It's just like a baby. As much as a mother would want to, you know, I mean, a child is a child, a father, a child, you know, I mean, a child is a child. But there comes to a point where that child must take responsibility for his or her life. And there, yes, you can baby as much as you can, but you must get past that stage. You have to take responsibility for your life. I say, um, there's something I would like to say. I, I would say, life is like a piece of cake, right? A lot of the stuff goes into making a cake, a beautiful cake. I mean, there is the flour, you know, so many ingredients come together just to make one cake. And it's the same thing with life, right? You have all of these different factors in your life that come together to make you who you are as a person today. And it is your responsibility to decide. For example, there are different um, flavors of cake, right? Right here, I have, I'm sure you can see this, right? This is the chocolate part. Then this is red velvet, of course, and this chocolate again. And around it, we have, you know, the icing. Now, there are different flavors, of course, meaning, I mean, all of us have different purposes in life. We have um, uh, different destinies. We have our own races to run. It's all personal to so each person. But essentially, your own life has its own set of ingredients. For example, what I would use to make a red velvet cake it's not necessarily, I mean, even the name is different. There's red velvet and there's chocolates, you know. The ingredients for this to make this become what it is, to make it look like what it is, you can see it, it's different from what is required to make this look like this. Of course, there are basic ingredients that both of them have to have, but there are, you know, certain um, 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 ingredients that make each of them differ. Now, in your own life, your life is personal, your race is personal. There are things you must put in place. I always say, um, I, uh, <laughs> I have a mentor and he would say something, you are a product of what you did yesterday. That's just the honest truth. What you did a few years ago, how you um, planned your life a few years ago is what you are seeing today. Whether you would like to accept it or not, it is the truth. It is what you did a few, few years ago. I mean, your words, your actions, your decisions, maybe the wrong decisions, the right decisions, maybe you took the right steps, or maybe you didn't take some steps, maybe you made some mistakes. All of those things are what has formed who you are today. Now, as much as it's just okay, for example, when you make this cake, right? It could turn out in a particular way. For example, there are some cakes that you taste and you're just like, oh, what is this? It's not soft enough, or maybe it's too, it has too much sugar, or um, it's just not right, you know? <laughs> then there are some, the, the design on it just looks so off, and you're wondering, how did this person come about this? It's all about what you put into it to produce the results that you want. So the same thing in your life. Now, okay, I, I, I don't like beating up on the past. I mean, the past is past. There's nothing you can do about it. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, um, my parents didn't take care of me. It's gone. 
oh, um, I was abused by such and such person. Of course, if you're still being abused, there's a difference. But I'm talking about maybe in the past, you were abused and it's gone, you know? Oh, you did not, uh, you made a very terrible mistake at some point in your life. It's gone, it's in the past. There's nothing you're gonna do today that will undo the past. So what do you need to do? Focus on the next, on the future. Focus on the present and the future. You know, most times we talk about the future and we tend to forget that there's a present because the present, the time is the future. So you need to focus on the present and the future because what you do today is what is going to determine how your future is going to be like. So if you don't start putting the right ingredients that you require today, your cake in the future is probably going to turn out the way you don't want. Because currently with you, you have a cake. For example, let's say I made this cake and I made a mistake as a baker, right? I have two options. Either I can send it out like that, mediocre, and say, oh, please, they'll, they're just going to manage it like that. I really can't do much about it. You know, I can just send it out. Of course, that is going to damage my brand. That is going to damage my reputation. But I can decide to do that. I said, I'm not going to go through the stress of doing another cake. It should go out like that. And, you know, the person gets it and the person doesn't like it. You have put a dent in your own image. But I can decide, oh, this cake is not the way I want it to be. It doesn't taste right. It doesn't look right. I'm going to go back to the um, to my to my uh, workplace and bake another cake that would satisfy, that would be excellent, that would be everything that my client or whoever wants it to be. And, of course, it tastes nice. So the same thing, you're like, you can decide, okay, now that I'm in this particular place, I'm just going to, you know, and you go over, oh, I made, okay, I made a mistake. I could be crying. Oh, I made a mistake over this cake. Oh, this cake is not how it's supposed to be. Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Mistake. Oh, why did I make a mistake? Oh, why? Why? You know, that's why a lot of us do. We, we like to wallow in self pity, and of course, we want other people to also, you know, join us, just enjoy. You know, that's. <laughs> You know, they say life is, is, is not a piece of cake. It is a piece of cake, really, because everything you put into it is what comes out. There is no magic in life, it is what you put in. They say garbage in, garbage out. What you put in is what you get. I said it is either up to this, either you can decide to wallow in self pity and cry over the mistake you made or whatever mis or made whatever decision you didn't make. For example, let's use um, crypto today, right? The Bitcoin has so soared in prices. I mean, right now people are wishing they could have bought it earlier, but you didn't, and it's past. There's nothing you can do. When Bitcoin was um, cheaper, people cashed in, but some did it. And now they're trying to beat them. So you don't need that. It's gone. That opportunity is gone. Of course, except maybe it crashes today again and you know you're able to cash in or something. But that time is gone. So what's the use of I mean beating yourself over it? It is gone. It's in the past. So what do you do? You look for now. You say, okay, I didn't cash in that opportunity. I didn't jump in quickly enough, um, early enough. So what do you, you start looking out for other opportunities and see, oh, how you'll be able to get in quickly before you know it becomes mainstream and all that. The same thing with life. You can, if you wanna sit down and just wallow in self pity, allow every other person that you're complaining to this person, you're complaining to that person. You're not gonna make any progress. Your life is going to be exactly where it is in the next 10, five years. And you shouldn't be surprised that you are at the same place, really. Because, you know, there's this, um, they, keep, they credit it to Albert Einstein, and they say insanity is, you know, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. It doesn't make sense. I mean, there is a way you lived your life, there are those, uh, you know, that got you to where you are today. Now you want to change, you want something different from the future, from the future. It starts today, it starts now. You understand that, right? So you need to start making those changes. So you can either decide to go back, either you complain about the cake that came out very, very, very nasty, or you go back and say, okay, you know what, I want to bake another cake because I want this cake to turn out well. And you go back into your, your workplace and you bake a very lovely cake that's, I mean, it's so succulent, it's so... Mmm. 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 Dissolves right in your mouth. <laughs> So you can, either, you can decide to do that. So your life, take it like a piece of cake. So you need to go back, sit down. What do I want to change? See my finances. For example, I could use myself. I wasn't, um, let's just say I really didn't manage my finances very well as I should have. And if I had to talk to myself one day and say, if you keep going like this, where you are going to be in the next five, 10 years, you're not going to like it. And I had to start taking deliberate actions and you know steps to make that happen. 
And I'm still on that journey because it's not a one day's journey. I mean, something you, you've done over the years, you, don't, you cannot expect it to change in one day. It's not automatic for crying out loud, you know? So it's gonna take time, it's a process. And that's another thing, if you don't see results, don't give up because it's a process, it's gonna take time. As I say, Rome was not built in one day. So now that you want to make these changes, you want to make changes in your... Okay, for example, someone like me, 2020, I told myself I wanted to share the concentrate, but I'm going to do it video special on that and share what I did for um, to lose some weight. And last year, I was able to successfully lose over two, um, 20 kg, you know, over 20 kg weight by myself. I did not go to the gym. You, you remember 2020, well, mostly at home. That was a perfect opportunity for me to even blow up. But I shared over 20 kg. You know, there was no special instructor. There was no um, um, gym trainer or something, a personal trainer. There was nothing. I decided I need to do this. Of course, before I had been complaining, oh, I need to share the weight, oh, this weight, oh, if I could just. Do. But when I told myself, you have to do this, and I woke up and I went for it and made the actions, I mean, took the actions that were, that were required. For me to shift the weight, so it's the same thing in your life, in your finances, in your education, in your education, in your um, in your home, in your marriage, whatever it is, in your finances, whatever it is, any area of your life at all, even if it's you as a person, maybe you want to revamp yourself as a person, you want to upgrade. It starts with a decision, and it starts with you right taking that decision right now to say, okay, I want to start now. You cannot keep staying in the past to say, oh. I made this mistake, I should have done this, I, 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 yeah, I should have done this, oh, why didn't I do this, oh, I should, no, get up, get up, get up and get doing, get up, 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 it's time to get back to work, so take a look at yourself, what are those areas that you would really, really love to see a change, a maybe a remarkable change, it doesn't worry me, so even if it's 2 kg of weight, whatever it is, get up, and get to work else you are going to find yourself exactly where you are right now in the next five years and guess what you're not going to have anybody to blame you will have yourself to blame because i mean you made the decision to stay in one place you get me right <laughs> so get up and get working go bake yourself a lovely piece of cake you know a different kind of life something that in the next five years you'll be proud of, you know, you can look back and say, yeah, I made this work, I put in the effort, you know, I, I did this, I was able to get this done. Of course, it's not going to be an easy journey, you know, nobody promises you anything easy these days, but it's going to be worth it. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it, all right? So... I just thought to drop that right I enjoy this lovely piece of cake. <laughs> I think one thing you will come to find out on this channel is that I love cake. Mm. I like cake. <laughs> and I know some of you were that when you say you were on a weight loss program. I am. I still am on a weight loss program. And oh last year I did eat cake. Oh. Mm-hmm. I had cake. I had pizza. I had all the stuff I would usually have. <laughs> but I didn't share my 20 kg. But I'm gonna share more with you in another video. So be sure to look out for that video, right? But in the meantime, your takeaway from the video, not hear anything I said. Maybe you're distracted by my lovely piece of cake. <laughs> if you wanna see a difference in your life in the next few years, you gotta make the decision now and start taking the necessary steps. I mean start doing the things you need to do today. If you have to get guidance, I mean, today, I mean, there are so many resources online. Like, there are so many resources online, videos like, I mean, like this video you're watching right now. People who have put themselves out there to help others get those resources and get to work. You have to move. Else, you're just going to make this in spot. And, I mean, you're probably just going to be frustrated and frustrated every other person. So, please, get to work, yeah? And this. I also have a project. I also have something I'm working on. So I'm not just talking to you for the sake of talking. I'm talking to myself as I'm talking to you. You know, I always do that. I'm just talk. I'm also talking to myself. I have work to do and I have a goal. And I'm telling myself in the next few years, I will take charge of those of, of the things that I can control. I'm not going to be bothered about what is happening. Well, 
I will be a teacher of what I can control, and that is my life. I'm going to take responsibility for my life because my life is my responsibility. And I'm going to bake the most beautiful, sweetest, most succulent, softest cake ever. <laughs> a very lovely masterpiece, I mean, of my life. So, I'm going to talk to you soon. Be sure to look out for more videos. And get baking. Big, 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 get baking, get baking. Bake the best life cake ever, ever. All right. So I'll see you on my next video. Be sure to take care of yourself. Of course, I remain a for me. <laughs> Bye.